Adventure Park, as you might expect, is a theme park simulation game developed by Be Alive and published by Bit Composer Games, who are also responsible for publishing Citadels. I believe that my initial concern that the game might not be as good as it first appeared was a justifiable reaction to my past experience with Bit Composer. I suppose I'll clear up the game's strengths first, and it certainly has some. What impressed me most of all was the level of detail on the character models in particular, though the textures and rides also look pretty sharp when you zoom the camera in. This does come at the cost of a good frame or 40 every second, but I wouldn't say that was surprising. There's also a great deal of data available to you. Each customer has about half a dozen meters to read, there's info on each and every rock and tree in your park. If you chance to click upon a bit of sand, the game will immediately and reliably inform you that you have selected sand. A tad superfluous, maybe, but it's important to know where the development funds went. Continuing the theme of detail, there is plenty in the way of upgrades for rides, food stalls, and probably more. I've yet to confirm this, though I expect the sand has several incremental grain distribution upgrades available for the discerning path strayer. The camera handles better than in Citadels, rotation is slow as hell, but at least it's an option this time, and there's plenty of graphical options available as well. It wouldn't be wrong to consider the UI to be fairly neat and tidy, but I wouldn't quail at someone describing it as fuck ugly either. The typography is incredibly bland, and according to the profile list your clientele consists of sinister faceless anomalies, each given $200 and shipped to a remote Caribbean theme park island with no recollection of what their names used to be, and an astute eye for vegetation density. I'd also like to note that there is a very limited soundtrack, much of which is rather derivative of films like Pirates of the Caribbean and The Matrix. I'd say there are too few rides for each theme as well. One campaign mission ran along the following basis. Welcome to my cowboy-themed amusement park. What's that? There are only three cowboy attractions and two of them are animal rides? Welcome to my cowboy and pirate-themed amusement park. It seems likely that few, if any, contemporary roller coaster architects were consulted in the making of this game because they'd probably mention how gently undulating roller coasters started to get a bit samey about 40 years ago, and so the notion of going upside down was introduced. Having failed to take this into account, the developers have provided a perfectly functional and incredibly mundane track designer. You do get to ride the attractions in a sense, though not to the same degree as in Theme Park World. For whatever reason, you're not allowed to move the camera in any direction during the ride, and so the attractions given often force you to stare at the back of a seat or a support beam should you insist on trying to squeeze some entertainment out of them. In some cases the devs make the camera irrationally jolty when they are at a loss as how to simulate something as well. But what annoyed me most persistently was the AI. For a starter, your workers don't exactly exhibit a lot of initiative. The customers are far worse. To upgrade your park, you need to be making a profit and you need every single customer to be 100% happy. Good luck with that when you have customers who will lament the lack of rubbish bins while riding a roller coaster, or in some cases when stood about 6 metres from a bin. Turning a profit is very easy and you receive huge startup funds, so customer satisfaction becomes the focus of the gameplay. As a result, Adventure Park is a game that lets you adopt the role of an obsessive people pleaser, plagued by even the slightest dissatisfaction on the part of total strangers. So in some sense I guess I could call it a challenging introspective focus on my own personal neuroses, but I suspect that wasn't what the developers were aiming for with this game. So I find myself in the familiar territory of saying, don't buy this expensive game published by Bit Composer. get one of these better, cheaper games of the same genre. In this case these games are Theme Park World and Rollercoaster Tycoon. Though for what it's worth, this is a step up from Citadels. I leave you now with an audio-visual summary of my experience with Adventure Park.